Let's make a chicken parm. Start by chopping an onion and some garlic. Just happened to get these beautiful peppers, so I'm gonna be using them. Get rid of that, I don't want that. I'm just gonna cut it right down the middle. That way it'll be easy to take it out. So I just, I don't want it to stay in. I just want it to give it a little spice. In a hot pan, add some olive oil, onions and garlic, your peppers, and some basil. Now add a little tomato paste and glaze it with a little bit of red wine. I just like to use a tomato puree. That simmer evaporates some of the water. Okay, what I got here is flour, salt, and black pepper. Uh, nothing crazy, we're going really basic. And then just a beaten egg. First thing we're gonna do, chicken in the dry, then in the egg, and then we're gonna add panko to this, mix that up, and put the chicken back in here now with the panko. Right in the dry. Then we'll switch hands, go into the egg. Panko to the mix here. This will give the chicken a really nice texture. All right, I'm gonna put it in, just like that. And I take some dry on the top, fry to keep my hand from getting too messy. This is the part where I think people always miss or don't know about, but the way you get a crispy chicken and not just like a shell around it, is you gotta, you gotta press it into the chicken. You gotta like squeeze it in. So give it a good press here, press. Oh yeah. That's it right there. You start to really be able to see it hang off the chicken. These all these all this areas that kind of like flake over. That all becomes that crispy skin that everyone loves on on fried chicken. So we're just gonna let that sit right in there. Let everything bind together, and uh, we'll heat up some oil. We're putting it in right now. That chicken will be in there for six minutes. We're gonna pull it out, let it rest for a minute, and then we'll put it back in until it gets golden brown, and it'll be perfect. Sprinkle some salt. I'm gonna put this on a plate. We'll put sauce, we'll put cheese, we'll throw it in the broiler. We'll keep an eye on it until we see that the cheese is starting to brown up a little bit. And, uh, and that'll be it. And that'll be our parm. We'll put a little pesto underneath and we'll call it a day. You guys in the next one.